Hey guys, it's up, it's Jonathan, and today there's a lot of things going on. Well, there's been a lot of things going on over the past month or so. Um, good and bad, um, mostly good, which is always a plus. Uh, today I have a few announcements and I'm trying to cross my leg. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just trying to do this in one take. Uh, so... Basically, to start off, we've got some huge news on a bad side. Um, well, it depends how you think about it. So, um, we aren't going to be able to uh, unveil our lovely film on the 31st of October like we thought. However, well, first of all, it's because basically a lot of people letting us down. Um, we were set to do some filming um, for a huge scene in the film in a mill um, and we arranged it with the people who own the mill and everything and then a day before we were um, planning on going there taking some vi pictures and seeing showing the cast and crew uh, they said that we were no longer allowed and they didn't really give us a valid reason they claimed it was to do with security um, even though we all sorted through that we um gave them information and everything so that was a bit disappointing but you know um another few in like scrapyards and things like that where we were set to film uh, a lot of a lot of we got the hair we got let down a lot by these people and it was real just kicking the confidence um especially with um, how we, we were going into this so, so fast, it was actually unreal, we were we were ready, we were primed, uh, we got the costumes ready and everything, and then boom, like that, we got just dismissed. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was a big confidence kicker, but we're coming off the end of that now, and we are going back into the important stuff, i.e., um, you know, getting everything right before we go. Um, just want to give a big shout out to the Fab Cafe in Manchester. Um, uh, we managed to shoot four scenes there. Um, within the space of six hours, that was a hectic day. It went uber slow, uh, to start off with, but luckily it picked up and we managed to get everything that we needed as well as a lot of funny stuff. Um, uh, that's gonna be in the bloopers after we release the film. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was I nearly said uh, one of the key bloopers, but I'll leave that for you guys. <laughs> um, but enough of the negatives. Let's move on to some positives. Um, to, well, to start off with, we have a huge, two huge announcements. One that I don't really want to announce because um, I I want to show you guys stuff before we announce it because it's a huge. It's like. I don't think it's ever been attempted on a full scale, like we're going to try it and I don't know how we're going to do it, but I'm going to make sure I do it, so uh, yeah, I'm, I won't announce that until, the, until we'll give it a while, that's all I'm going to say, but the other one is an extension if you will, um, yeah, basically we never intended, well, as I started this universe with one idea and extended it to a good friend, Jack Dalton, um, I had the idea before I even came up with this to make a universe and that's what I intend to do in every aspect of the word universe. We are planning something amazing something unique and something that has only ever been attempted by another franchise um i don't even know if it's actually been attempted online before so holy crap that is pretty insane um speaking of online we released a tiny 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 teaser of uh, the villains in the film. That's what we shot at the Fab Cafe in Manchester, the major, four, well, a few major scenes, um, and we uh, released that. That got to number two at one point on the featured Batman fan films of YouTube, which blew my mind. 
Um, <laughs> that was some weird hand movement there. <laughs> okay, so um, continuing with the positives of good things to come. Uh, actually, pause. Just while we have this little break, I um, I actually uh, I extend my own line of um, inquiries to people uh, and I tag Kevin Porter, if you guys don't know who Kevin Porter are, how the hell are you watching this video, go type in Bat in the Sun and if you see City of Scars, watch that, that is one of the most intense Batman fan films I've ever seen in my life. Um, Kevin Porter, I tagged him in a few photos on Instagram of uh, the filming and he liked them and uh, that was a few weeks ago. And then today I was surprised with when I woke up this morning he followed me and I was like ah. it's like um some one of your idols has just acknowledged your existence and it's just unbelievable but to connect with that about a week ago now um uh, if you guys don't know who Ismahawk is you you can you just leave just go watch their videos then come back here if you don't think our videos are like crap after watching those. Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, um, out of Ismahawk, uh, I tagged Danny um, in one of my pictures and he liked it and I was just over the moon. And then I tagged the actual Is Ismahawk page and I got a like off Tony. Tony is one of the most humorous, humorous, uh, is one of the funny guys at Ismahawk as well as Jeremy. Uh, but Tony, uh, I don't know, every episode he comes out with something that just sets me off. Uh, he's a big inspiration, he played the part of Green Arrow in the Minute Mashups, and he actually gave me a follow as well, which I was hugely grateful for, hugely grateful. That doesn't sound right. Oh well, let's continue. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you, Tony, if you're watching this. Probably not, because why the hell would you be here? <laughs> um, a couple of other things, um, this is probably the biggest thing, we are now kind of officially produced. Um, all content that we upload in the future is going to be produced by Curtis Everett, if you guys don't know who he is, he is an amazing producer, uh, he's produced uh, many films and um, we've been talking about another fan film, not related to me personally, but something he's working on, um, so you guys should go check out his work on YouTube, go check out his IMDB page, he's got some very interesting projects coming up as well as Batman the Shattered Cowl. Plug. Um, yeah, uh, he's producing us, he, he, he's he's done some great things for us, he's bought this audio device I am recording on now. Um, I'm hoping to get a new camera, not just because this camera, it's, it's a very good camera, but uh, I, I need to use things like a microphone to direct the camera and a field monitor and this camera just doesn't accept it and we need to give you guys the best content possible. Um, I'm not asking for money off you guys because when we tried setting up an INDB, another Indiegogo page a while back, it didn't work but to be fair um, that was because we didn't release any content our own fault. Um, but yeah, we uh, anyway yeah that, that's this, um, he's, he's, he's given us so many cool things to um, work with, he's given us costume pieces from arm um, to cowl, to cowl, I sh that should have been a plural what I'd use there, and to prop rubber guns which we're going to use for stunt guns, um, uh, uh, what else, Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm using a bounce board right now that, that he gave us, um, which is just intense and amazing and it's it's nice to see somebody else um, who truly thinks you, the work we're doing is admirable. <laughs> uh, I think that is all I've got to say for now, guys. But like I said, we can't release the film for the thirty first of October. However, however, the thirty first of October isn't going to be a dead day for Supercat Productions. We've got two major things that we're going to release for the thirty first of October, and the cast and crew don't know about one of the things. It's something I've kept close to my and it's something that I'm gonna keep still keep close but um you know I need to extend it a tiny bit so we can get it finished. So um without further ado I would like to just thank everyone who supported us, everyone who's continuing to support us, everyone who's liked our Facebook page, checked out our IMDB, subscribed to this page, 
checked out any of our other videos, you guys are the people who make us as filmmakers and actors and cosplayers and producers want to continue our work. So like I said, big thank you. We couldn't do this without you. We thank you for the support and have a great day.